Chapter 1. The Journey of Creating a Life You Love. As humans, we go on a predictable journey, don't we? While growing up, I saw most adults living the same experiences, and to my childlike worldview, their lives seemed dull, boring, and lifeless. I always had a sense there was more. It took 15 years of my adult life to discover just how much more there is. Many of us have asked the questions, why are we here? Or what is the meaning of life? We find ourselves lost or confused. Is our life really about finding a good job, getting married and raising a family? Sure, there has to be more than that. All humans start off in the same place as a pure creative energy. The unfortunate thing is most people never reach their full potential as creators. They stay stuck in an oscillating pattern, never reaching a life they love and always in a struggle with themselves and the world. It doesn't seem to matter how much work they do on themselves, how many books they read, they seem to only be able to create short-term progress in one area of life and come crashing back to reality in others. Why don't we all have everything we desire? Are we born to just struggle from birth to death? You may feel like you have an internal conflict going on, choosing between what you love to create and what you actually experience in life, going for it and playing it safe, being your authentic self and conforming to others' expectations, self-confidence and self-doubt. I have found most people are settling in certain areas of life. They've stopped dreaming, stopped going for it, and just settled into predictable patterns. I get it. It can be difficult to know what you should really go for. I also know that if you're reading this book, well, listening to it, I guess, You're one of the few who have identified this pen and decided you want more, or a friend of yours is making you listen to this because you're sitting next to them in the car. Either way, you've found your way to this listening to this audio.